I'm Elaine Hobby. I'm a professor at Loughborough University and I'm leading the project here at Canterbury Christchurch University that's called Canterbury's Afroben. The main aim of the project is to get people to recognise Afroben's name and achievements, realise that Canterbury produced the first woman who made her living as a writer in English. She was enormously successful in the 1670s, 1680s, so a couple of hundred years before um, Jane Austen, for instance. We've got a year full of events going on, so quite a lot of talks, um, also music events, because there were songs written for her plays. We've got an exhibition going on at the Beanie for three months about Afro Ben and her times. We're going to get her involved in uh, the sense of how you, as a tourist, how you would see Canterbury. So places associated with her in the years that she lived here, as well as celebrating what she wrote in her, in her works. Hello, I'm Dr Astrid Stilmer. I am a senior lecturer in early modern studies here at Canterbury Christchurch University and I'm the co-investigator on Canterbury's Afro Ben. So my main research interest is in the political and religious conflicts of the early modern period and how they are represented in the literature of the time. That's where Afro Ben comes in. Her work engages in really fascinating ways with the politics of the 1670s and 80s. And this is a time where debates about kingship and religion are not theoretical. I mean, the country is still recovering from what actually happens when you get rid of a king and what happens when you invite a king back, you know, with the restoration. And also the prospect of potentially getting rid of another king because of King James II's Catholicism. Afra Ben's work responds to that, to, to all of those issues. She's right in the middle of that debate. And those works are not very well known. So this project is a wonderful opportunity to bring these works to a larger public. For one thing, with the, the first production of her uh, play, The Amorous Prince, in 350 years, which is very much about these issues. Uh, she has a very original voice. Uh, very sharp, very witty, um, very irreverent as well um, at times and she provides a uniquely female perspective as well uh, which is uh, rare for the period. Working in the same genres as her male colleagues her approach is, is really distinct and different and her work really ought to be better known. Mm -hmm.